the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 264, Daniel 10 to 12. The reason the administrator Daniel was a prophet, knowing and believing that God will intervene in the middle of a rapidly changing world, gives us the will to overcome all hardship and suffering. First point, during the time Daniel fasted in the Tigris River, he came across four visions. Daniel fasted whilst he prayed to God. Now God showed him his final vision. The time of this vision was according to Cyrus's decree. When the first group of captives was able to return to Jerusalem, Daniel also prayed during the time of Passover. Daniel was in great distress, and although the captives were able to return to Jerusalem, things were not going smoothly, and it appeared that war was upon them. Second point, Daniel saw the Messiah during his vision and then fainted with fear and shock. The fourth vision God showed to Daniel was of a man. This man that he saw was the Messiah. The Messiah wore linen with a belt of fine gold from Uphaz around his waist. His body was like topaz, his face like lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of a burnished bronze, and his voice like the sound of a multitude. This was also the image that Jesus' disciples saw in the mountains. St. John also saw Jesus in the island of Patmos. When Daniel saw the Messiah, he was so surprised that he fainted. Only Daniel was able to see this vision of Jesus at this time. Daniel, Jesus' disciples, and St. John all had the same reaction when they came across the vision of Jesus. When Daniel passed out from seeing Jesus' vision, the angel Gabriel came to help him. The reason God showed Daniel this vision was in order for him to start praying for his people and his country. The angel Gabriel explained why he had come, which was to warn of what was to happen to the people. The angel Gabriel, moreover, provided details on the fall of the Persian Empire, as well as the rise of the Hellenistic Empire. Daniel recorded all of this in his book. Third point, Daniel recorded the fall of the Persian Empire and the Hellas Empire, shown by God during his vision. In Daniel chapters 10 and 11, details of the Persian, Hellenistic, and the Egyptian and Syrian Hellenistic empires are recorded. Although the Persian Empire became strong enough to conquer Babylon and Greece, they were unable to attack Alexander in Macedonia, who was gradually building up the Hellenistic Empire. However, after the death of Alexander, the Hellenistic Empire becomes divided into four, and each formed their own monarchy. Such contents were recorded in Daniel chapter 11. The angel Gabriel revealed to Daniel that he would have Darius of a bit. The angel Gabriel also warned of the fall of the Persian Empire and rise of the Hellenistic Empire. Following on, Alexander from Macedonia appeared and formed an expanding empire, but this also did not last long, and the country became divided into four. Fourth point, Daniel also recorded the war between the Ptolemy dynasty and the Seleucus dynasty with the Jews in between. The new Hellenistic Empire emerged with the death of Alexander, and this complicated all the administrative and logistical structure of the empire. The new Egyptian Ptolemy dynasty and the Syrian Seleucus dynasty were formed, and things started to get more complex. The two countries eventually fought with the Jews in between. The Ptolemy dynasty won the first round, 
and the ruled Judah for 122 years in peace. This was the when the Pentateuch was translated. Then the Seleucus dynasty took over and ruled over the Jews. Their rule started in peace but ended in much blood and eventually came to an end due to the Jewish Maccabean revolt. Fifth point, Daniel, who was an administrator and a politician, saw God's plan and recorded himself first and foremost as God's prophet whilst hoping for the kingdom of God. In chapter 12, Daniel made a prophecy about the end of the world. This stemmed from Jesus' return. God gave Daniel the following warning. A new Daniel roll up and seal the waters of the scroll until the time of the end. Many will go here and there to increase knowledge. With the coming of the end, the waters of the Bible will come true, and the knowledge will be revealed. Next was recorded the conversation between the angels. Daniel questioned these angels. My Lord, what will the outcome of all this be? Regarding the end of the world, St. Paul also had discussed with the people of Thessalonica Church how they were to have patience and to have hope. Having seen and recorded the blueprint of the change of empires, Daniel, who was a politician and an administrator, was first and foremost recorded as God's prophet. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.